right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out Bamboo's new PETG filament. It's called PETG HF, and I have a couple of rolls of that that we'll be checking out today. So we'll do a couple of the little spiral samples that we normally do. And I thought it would be cool if we did a multicolor print with it as well. So I do have a couple of rolls so we can do a multicolor. I also have a brand new roll of the old PETG basic. Um, just so the old stuff that's been discontinued. So we'll also print a little um, sample of that. And then maybe we'll do a multicolor print with the PETG basic and the new PETG HF and see how that turns out. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. All right, here we are on Bamboo's website, and here we are with the PETG HF. And it says it's designed for speed, print flawlessly with minimal tuning, uh, smooth, soft texture. I think the one thing that it said that resonated with me is it uh, prints at the speed of uh, PLA. So we'll definitely take a look at this. We'll take a look at what the um, you know slicing time is for the PETG basic, and then we'll take a look at the um, HF on the little sample piece that we do and see if there's any difference in speed there. Um, but it says it prints, you know, like um, PLA um, somewhere in here, which I thought was um, pretty um, significant because I've never really had a, a ton of luck with PETG. It just never prints as well, if you ask me or whatever. So yeah, and the smooth, soft texture is, is one of the bigger things with that. But this looks really cool. It looks like, um, you know, it does with PLA and it says it's ready for outdoor use. So this could be another material if you don't want to print with ASA um, that you could use outdoors as well. Um, so we'll scroll down here so you'll see PLA basic. You'll see that everything's pretty similar. The speeds or whatever are pretty similar um, to PLA and seem to be a lot quicker than PETG basic. All right. So let me let these uh, finish drying. You do need to dry these before use. So we'll let them um, finish drying and I'll get them loaded in the AMS and then I'll meet you in Bamboo Studio. All right, so here we are in Bamboo Studio and I went ahead and I loaded um, two of the PETG HFs and one of the basics. And I went ahead and I hit sync right here and you'll notice it only picked up the uh, PETG basic. This is kind of an issue that I've had with this is you have to go in anytime they add a new filament and make sure it's checked here. Like, I don't understand why anybody wouldn't want to use new filament. I don't understand why you have to do that. Once you, oh, wrong button. Once you do that, you can resync the filament. Now you'll see that we have the red PETG HF, the black PETG HF, and the blue PETG basic. So now let's take a look at the differences in print time, like it said on the website. So here we have the red um, HF. So let's go ahead and slice that with just standard um, settings. And it looks like 52 minutes and 40 seconds total time with all the prepare time and all of this stuff. So now let's go back to prepare and let's change this to the basic PETG and see if it's longer than 52 minutes and 40 seconds, is, which is what it alluded to on the website. So let's go ahead and slice that. And yeah, one hour and one minute. So that's... um almost 10 minutes you know it's like eight minutes and change longer than that so it's about eight percent so over a really really long print that could be fairly significant so now let's go back to prepare and let's um make three of these and then um print each one of these petgs so we'll just go ahead and hit clone we'll do two clones and then we'll go to others and slicing mode we'll do print by object and then we'll move those objects into a safe place by hitting this button okay it'll only let us do two at a time so let's do the two 
hfs real quick and then we'll create another plate and put the basic on its own plate there all right so let's go ahead and slice this and we'll go ahead and print it i'll see you in an hour and 41 minutes All right, you might have saw that I had the PEI plate in there for the time lapse. And the reason being is I did have some issues printing the PETG on the prismatic plate. Um, it kept failing on like the second layer or whatever of the black here and would not print. I tried it like four or five different times. I've cleaned the plate. I tried different prismatic plates. For whatever reason, it did not like it. So for the PETG basic, I did put the prismatic plate back in there. Um, so I'm going to switch this back to smooth PEI plate and we'll go ahead and print with that one. And we'll see if the old PETG basic was any better at that or not. So we'll go ahead and slice the plate hour and one minute and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, here we are back in Bamboo Studio, and I did have the same issue that I had with um, the HFPETG over here. Uh, the prismatic plate, it did not like that at all, didn't want to stick to it. So I moved over to the textured plate, and it did print. Um, we'll take a look at the results here in a minute, but there is a result just from drying and printing these without doing any tuning or anything like that. There is a, a pretty clear difference between them, but we'll look at that in a minute. But now let's take a look at a print from Maker World um, that we'll use to print with all three of these materials. So I found this little whistle right here that has, um, you know, three colors in it. It says two color, but it actually has three colors. That's pretty funny. Um, but we can manipulate this to have three colors. So we'll see how all three of them print together. And it only takes a few minutes to print. Um, so it should be pretty interesting. So let's load that in Bamboo Studio. And here it is loaded in Bamboo Studio. So let's go ahead and color it. And the easiest way for this one, since each of the pieces are, um, you know, shaded and everything, is we can uh, manipulate it from there. So this one will make number three, which is the blue. Uh, for the note background there, we'll make that number one or actually number two to make it black. And then the note itself will make that red. So that gets all three colors in there and it only takes about 20 minutes to print. So let's go ahead and get that printed and I'll see you when it gets done. All right, so here we are with the little filament samples. And as you can see, they all look relatively the same except Hopefully you could see this on camera, but it didn't print quite perfect with the PETG basic. So the old style, both of the um, HF ones printed just fine. Um, and everything went through the same thing. So I dried them for the same amount of time per the recommended instructions, all of that printed them at the same time on the same plate. Um, neither one of them really liked the prismatic plates, but they printed on the PEI plate just fine. Um, but I did notice that there is a difference in print quality. So on the website where they said that it improves or it's easier to print and less tuning or whatever and prints more like PLA, um, I would say that this is a great example of that. And then as for multicolor prints, this turned out really good. So this is the HF print. And it did really good. And then this is the um, normal basic PETG on the back here. I will say the back of this isn't as smooth as this or on the side right here. So there is somewhat of a difference in there, again, towards the print quality. All right, so 
that's all the time that we have for today. Um, I definitely really like this PETG HF. It does print just like PLA. As you can see, there is a difference in the prints um, here. Um, so I'm definitely going to print a lot more with it, and I would encourage you to do the same. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'll see you on the next one. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Music